Yeah, what's up YouTube? I'm back here with another video. Today what we're going to be doing is disassembling this Dell um, keyboard here. This right here is quite some old school. You know, I got it from uh, Goodwill. I think it was like $3.99, something like that. If I get in frame. You know. Here's all of the information. But yeah, this right here is a pretty old keyboard, but hey, you know, it still uh, still works perfectly. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by, uh, let me shed a little bit of light on this. I'm going to start removing uh, these screws. <coughs> Let me grab my magnetic tray here. I'm just going to go ahead and do it like that. Alright, so we're working on the last screw here. Boom. Check it out. Some of these screws uh, standing up. <laughs> uh, by the way, these four smaller screws right here, they go here, 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 and here. All right, let me uh, get this here off. All right, so uh, let's see. I actually want to flip this here over like that. Alright. So, uh, there's this right here. And this right here is the inside of it. I'm going to uh take this right here and i'm gonna throw it into the um kitchen sink we got a board right here uh all right so uh i've done decided let me turn on my light here i've done decided i'm not gonna take this here out um it's not see it's not even really dirty down there is that it? Well, some just flew on there. Is that right there? But anyway, I can blow all this here out. Just so that everyone knows, right over here, let me get y'all in frame. Right over here, you take out one, two, three screws and uh, right here this board here attaches to uh, like this here right and with that right there said so you can kind of see what I'm talking about right there right but yeah uh, and it makes a connection with this here and then you know you can also see uh, here as well uh, that you have like this connector uh, you also have uh this cable that's ran right here that's running all the way from over here down here and then back over that away anyway let's go ahead and let's drop this thing on into the kitchen sink and let's do it
well, as y'all can see it's pretty wet so I'm gonna show y'all how I'm going to dry this here is the practically brand new keyboard all cleaned out whatever wasn't nothing really too much on this side we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna um, put this thing back together so let's press down on a little bit oh y'all can't see what I'm doing all right there you go now you can see alrighty so First thing what I'm going to do is light and I'm going to get my tray here and I'm going to uh, start by putting in these screws uh, here in the middle. Alright so just want to get that in um, and all that. Oh yeah also uh, this foot here this right here garbage uh i got another solution for that all right so uh y'all just see me remove this uh foot if you would from this keyboard all right well we won't be needing that foot no more that came from here or over there or you know, whatever so i've done made my own little feet uh i got a video and i put it up right about now so y'all can see so right here is what I've done to one so far it's not uh, fully modded if you would now what I need to do is is I need to take and I need to load this down here with a lot of hot glue let's load it down Oh fuck. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a little um a little um sloppy down under the bottom. That's no problem whatsoever. So because I'm going to show y'all um how I'm going to do this right here. It's going to be kind of on the tricky side a little bit. So I need to do is I need to put a nice goopy gob right there. That looks uh, good to me. All right. <clears throat> So there you have that right there. See that right there? We're gonna get in there. I do not need. I do not need these um, feet here to come off. So there you have that right there. All right now, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna proceed on with this video. Put all the screws back in. And then we're gonna plug it up to the Dell Precision T7500. And uh, hopefully Everything works just flawlessly. So, let's do it.